Hello, we're going to take a look at our Visual Basic program that we wrote in uh, Visual Studio 2015. Uh, it's a more current version, perhaps, than what is in your classroom. You might have 2012, but nonetheless, the code is the same and the concepts are the same. So let's take a look at this Visual Basic interface. Uh, uh, we have the toolbox on the left-hand side. We're using the common controls, and this is a list of objects or controls we placed on the form. We call that these are labels to describe information, payroll program, hours, pay rate, and gross pay. And these are text boxes. This is, uh, by default, Visual Basic will give it a name of the object. We took what was text box one and changed it to hours. The second one we placed on the form was text box two. We renamed it to rate. And the third one was text box three. We renamed it to pay so that we can use these controls and code and, and reference them a little more easily. So what I'd like to do, we know what we have a form, we have label controls, we have text box controls, and we have a button. I'd like to modify this program to accommodate overtime pay. If you work over 40 hours, you should get overtime, right? So we can do that in programming with a control structure. In this case, it's an if-then statement. So what uh, Visual Basic will do, with, it will evaluate a condition, in this case the hours, and if it's uh, equal or less than 40, it'll do one set of calculations. Uh, if not else, it'll do another set of calculations. So it just gives us a way to control the program flow uh, in Visual Basic. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's double click on the button for Calc Pay to get to our code. Uh, this is what we had in here. We call that pay.txt. Uh, is an assignment statement. It gets assigned the result of hours.txt times rate.txt. And we can reuse this code. This is, remember, this is a comment uh, and it describes what happens below. So we're going to replace this with an, an if then statement. Okay, here's our if then statement. So look at the uh, the test here is if, hour if hours.txt is less than or equal to 40, then here's our comment to help us. Here's the code pay rate.txt equals hours times rate else and this is where we make the fork in the road uh, we assume hours are now over than 40 so here's our comment hours are 40 plus and this is somewhat like pseudocode it's english like statements to explain the code below um, in this case it's hours of pay plus all right so we get the we get the 40 hours taken care of plus the total hours minus 40. in this instance if i type 45 minus 40 gives us five times the the rate times the overtime factor. So that describes this code below. So pay rate.txt, there's 40 times the pay rate plus, here's the calculation to get the additional hours over 40, and this is a new pay rate times the overtime factor. So let's see if this runs. Let's give it a test. I'm gonna check for 40 hours again, and $10 an hour, I should get 400, and I do. Let's change that to 45, and that's five hours over. The, the overtime pay is 15, that's $75 added to the original 40. I should get 475 and I do. So we see that it works. So let's stop the code. That works fine. Let's say we did a typo. We haven't debugged this yet. So let's do a typo. Let's say we wrote instead of text, test. All right, that's our code. Notice that Visual Basic will underline the code. You can hub your mouse. It says that test is not a member of a text box. That control doesn't exist is what it's telling you. Let's run it. You, there are errors, so let's run it. And we see down here, oh, look, test is not a member of text box. So I can run it, but it'll, I know right away there's a problem with it. So I can look for where the error is. I can click here, potential fix. Um, I, I can look at that and know that, oh, I don't have a test property. I have a text property. And that should fix the code. Now when I run it, voila, everything runs fine. One last thing, let's add a couple more buttons to this form uh, to do a few more things. This is button two. We're, get, we're gonna go ahead and leave it that, but we're gonna call it clear to clear the text boxes. And button three, we're gonna leave it that name. And we're gonna call this one exit. So let's do the code. Let's double click on the button. It's going to go right in. I'm going to paste this in to save some time. And you see I have some uh, error messages here. So let's see what I have done. Well, I can see right now I'm missing a quote. Let's put that in there. 
that should be fine now. Let's go to the exit button and put the code in there. Let's type in a little statement to end it. And now let's run it. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Uh, no error messages. Let's put in uh, let's put in 30 hours times $10 an hour and calculate the pay. We get 300. Let's put in 45. You know what? Let's clear that. Now let's put in 45 times $10 and see if we get the overtime pay and we do and then we exit out and we're done we've completed an enhanced visual basic uh, program we have a few more controls on the form and it does exactly what the code asks it to do